Do you know what curling is? Curling your hair? Curling? Yeah, curl your you hair like this? Like this? How do you do that? Like if you were going to curl. Like that, right? Yeah, and then, like what, this, then what do you do? Right? I'm going to curl, I'll be like this. Curling. We take weights. I want to curl. We curl on our honeymoon. <laughs> So curling is the same thing, you get a stone that you polish and you have these two sticks and you make it want to go a certain way. They invented great drugs for that. Curling? Isn't it when they uh, they push the thing over the eyes? Like when you're on a ship and you do those four things, isn't it? I want you to get to him. I became fascinated by the sport of curling four years ago during the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. What are these people doing sliding on ice, pushing a rock, yelling at the guy with the broom? What is this? Somehow, four years passed, and life swept me away from that moment of wonder and curiosity. Fortunately, the Salt Lake City Organizing Committee wrote enough checks to assure that the 2002 games would be held a mere six-hour drive from my home in Colorado. As the games grew near, my prior fascination with curling was renewed. I spent five glorious days in Salt Lake, and every day began with the same question. Just what is curling? I'm from Canada, I know what curling is. What's curling? You're the only person who Curling? People that, Americans don't know what curling American, is. Answer no. the question! Okay. There's people and they have these big things called rocks, and they start at the hack, and they have it, they come back, and then they, they go push and they it. slide and they let go of it and there's other people who are sweeping and they sweep and the, the thing, it's called curling because you can make it curl a certain way because there's little things on the ice. And then um, there's a thing called the house with rings in it and the rock has to land near the center. It's kind of like croquet on ice, I think. That's, that's what I kind of got the gist of, is croquet on ice. And so they, they sh sh throw the ball, or the rock down the, the shuffleboard, you know, thing on ice. And uh, they either have to set it in the middle of the circle, or they're not going out. It's simple. It's a 42-pound rock thrown down the ice. It's like shuffleboard. Hey, do you guys know curling? Uh, have you ever curled before? Yep. What the fuck is that sport? <laughs> I'm the pusher. He's the I'm sweeper. The How do you do it? How do you push? How do you sweep? The rock gets like going. this. Okay, you get going. <laughs> it's bowling. Then I get pushed like this. He gets pushing. <laughs> he gets pushing. And then a rock comes into play. I think if you had ice skates on, you wouldn't have fallen. And then the Americans win again! Ah! Woo! That's how America does it! <laughs> Can I not push it more than once? Yeah, I think that's illegal. Hey man, do you know what uh, curling is? No. No, is it an Olympic event? Yeah, that's uh, they take a rock and throw it down the ice. And Why the hell uh, would you want to do that? It's kind of like shuffleboard. Oh yeah. I think it's kind of like uh, you throw it and it goes into a circle and it's a big old 40 pound rock. You ever uh, seen it? No, I don't think I've ever seen nothing like that. When I was drinking, we used to have Olympic hurling events though. <laughs> What's hurling? Hurling? Yeah. You know, pray to the porcelain god. I could figure out its origins. It seemed to come from, no, it's northern in origin, obviously, like Norway or Iceland or something. There are the brooms, and there's the frozen object. And we figured out that probably the frozen object was originally like a loaf of bread, like a bad loaf of bread that was frozen. And the brooms are obviously something they had around cleaning up. <laughs> and like, they were just bored, you know? All there is to do probably is like drink and, you know, like hang out, build snowmen. So they played that sport. But we couldn't figure out exactly how the how the game was scored or like what the points were like you know watching it uh, I always came in the middle of the game so I wasn't able to figure out exactly how it worked I know that they were like hitting hitting the, the thing the loaf of bread thing out the rock yeah the rock oh it's a rock it is a rock isn't it, it has like a handle um, but they were like hitting it out of the circle and, but I, I just couldn't figure the game out it's in, it seems interesting though Curling is that little old game. I think in Canada we used to play it with horse shit on ice. And we used to see who would get closer to the hay bale. Then they changed the rules and I heard it comes from Europe. But since Canada always win, I believe of our history of using horse shit and sliding it on the ice and see who gets closer to the fishing hole. And if you drop it in the fishing hole, then you make a point. That's how it all started. 
I'm serious. There's things that they push in front of the Wait. pin. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> is it a pin or is it a rock? Rock. It's a rock. Disc. I don't know what it is. Using like brooms, right? Brooms. Do you know what they're doing with the brooms? I was told because I was I didn't have any clue that they were heating it up, up the ice. Sweep something. I mean, it seemed, doesn't it seem like the broom? It was like secondary. It was like it was used for something extraneous, and then they're like, hey. Hey, Ingve, like, why don't you come over and use the broom in the game? You know, like it just seems no, no, like I it think was incorporated. The, I like think that. There, there, there was the broom before there was the game. That's so people, people knew all along that if they brushed the ice, but I think in the game the, they were the pushing coefficient it. of okay, friction was reduced. Can you explain the brooms? How, the how brooms? the brooms come into play here with the horseshit? I think it's a witchcraft thing. I'm not sure what the broom does in there. Honestly, I have no idea. It's like me with a broom on my head. What does that have to do with anything? But actually, Liberty Spikes, red, white, and blue. So I don't have to wear the flag. It's a similar thing. Given that you're Canadian, wouldn't it be better if you had red, just red and white? Well, I'm a French Canadian, so I thought of doing the Liberty Spikes. The Statue of Liberty was given by the French to USA, so I kind of represent the Statue of Liberty. Who's the world's best curler? It has to be the woman it's, skip. It's she has forever. That's right. It's Canadian. You guys are proud of curling, I'm assuming. Absolutely. Yeah. So is there going to be a giant party after the Canadians sweep the medals? Or? Yeah, that's if they sweep the medals, but they won't. They won't? No. Uh, it's a, that was a pun. Did you get that? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I've never curled before. I've watched it on TV. Never curled before. Are you interested in curling? Like, if you are asked on a curling date, would you go out? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think I can, I think I can do it pretty well. Uh -huh. She is. She built it like. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Do you have any curling jerseys? No curling jerseys. Is there a demand for those things at all? Or uh, a lot of people have been asking, but no? not really. Any helmets or shoes or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any uh, candles in the shapes of curl curling rocks? Curling rocks? What are those again? That's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. Joking? <laughs> I know, I was being sarcastic. You guys didn't make any ahead of time? Or? No, we didn't. <laughs> well, you know what happened? It, it was, we got swamped, we got all sold out of those. Don't have any more, sorry. So you did actually have curling <laughs> candles. But we have bowling balls. Where are those? So can we maybe make one of those into a curling? I think you could. Candle? Hey, I was just wondering, uh, do you have a size 11 and a half curling shoe I could try on? No. Have you had any requests for curling shoes? You guys aren't? Um, well, you know why we don't have any? Because we're all sold out. You are? That's funny. The candle shop was sold out of candle-shaped, rock-shaped candles, you know, so... Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Really popular sport here in Utah. Right. Have you been personally curling? Yeah, for about five years. All the Olympic merchandise. Hey, do you guys have any um, shoes that I could use for curling? Um, no, we don't have any shoes for curling. Not here at Paxson. No, we don't. But you have shoes for, like, uh, say, other Olympic sports, right? Um, no. Well, I guess you could say that I have shoes for the average snowboarder. Right. That so, they wear. are you being discriminatory towards curlers by not carrying oh. shoes for curlers? Right. Um, no, I just don't really think that I can accommodate the trends of a curler. <laughs> so, no, I don't. I, I don't feel like I'm being discriminatory. You guys came here to see curling? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes you did. I thought you came to see this figure skater. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I'm volunteering selling Coca-Cola products. Including pins? Including pins. Are there any curling pins? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> Are you going to be doing any drawings of curlers in the future? Probably in the future. Not.